It may be the dog days of summer, but a group of teachers are busy learning new tricks. Courtesy of a state program that connects industry and education. Brad Drazen has our Making the Grade report. There's a lot happening in OK Industries in New Britain. And Jared Welcome has his eyes peeled on the process. He's not the boss of this assembly line. In fact, he doesn't even work here. He's a summer extern. I have such a, a greater appreciation of the whole process. Jared teaches tech ed at Lewis Mills High School in Burlington and is one of seven high school and community college instructors in the summer externship training program. The Connecticut Business and Industry Association matches these educators with local manufacturing companies. This is about why. This is the teachers getting the hands-on experience that shows them what people use in the real world and then allows them to bring it back and teach kids. The amount of downtime for each current. OK Industries President Jason Howie says the externship program is about making a long-term investment in his future workforce. Most of the skilled workers that you need for manufacturing today, they'll take five or ten years before they can really contribute and able to problem solve and work on the sophistication that the, that the actual industry demands today. Manufacturing is a growing part of Connecticut's economy, but industry insiders say there are some big misconceptions out there. Many parents and guidance counselors and teachers don't think this is a, um, a place for young people to go. And in fact, it is. Very innovative, requires lots of interesting skills, highly paid. When the parts are assembled in the nest, there's four of them. Jared is looking to help OK with downtime reduction to maximize efficiency here. The concept he'll bring back to his students through project work this fall. If you can make a product in a shorter amount of time, then you'll end up winning. Winning is what this teacher, this company, and the state are all looking to do for years to come. Brad Drazen, NBC Connecticut News.